Yo, we're back. Uh, we're doing another video. This time we're doing one with the Wizards, a not so great team, but they can do some things at the trade deadline that could, you know, probably make them a playoff team or put them in that that position to be one of, one of the playing teams to eventually make the playoffs. But before we get into this video, uh, as always, leave a comment. I mean, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Yeah, man, we're gonna get right into this. Uh, we're gonna do a trade with the Wizards. We're not doing it with the Raptors. We're gonna do a trade with the Wizards, and the first team is going to be the Detroit Pistons. And why am I here with the Detroit Pistons? Because we're gonna send Jeremy Grant to the Wizards in exchange for Davis Bertans, in exchange for uh, do I send Denny Ad, 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 Denny? Do we send Denny? Or do we send Rui Hachimura? Uh, uh, I think Denny would be the more intriguing piece. Yeah, Denny would definitely be the more intriguing piece for, uh, for these guys. But they already have Josh Jackson. He's playing pretty well. They have uh, DeLon Wright. He's a guard. I'm going to send Rui. I'm going to send Rui. He's only, he's only, uh, not one year younger, but, uh, he's, uh, he has one less year on his contract, which is all right, I guess. Um, he said Rui Davis Bertans and, uh, Davis Bertans. We're, we're sent, no, we're keeping Rui. We're going to send Davis Bertans, Denny Advia, and we're going to send Troy Brown Jr. for Jeremy Grant and Wayne Ellington. Yeah. And we're going to throw in a future first. We're going to send we're going to throw in this uh second round pick for sure, but we're going to throw in 2022 first round pick lottery protected. Top 10. Top 10 protected. If it falls inside the top 10 it belongs to to the the Wizards. If it doesn't, it goes to the Pistons as our first trade. Uh yeah, this is my first trade. Um, the Wizards received Jeremy Grant and Wayne Ellington. The the Pistons received Davis Bertans, Troy Brown, Denny Advia, and a future second. And I threw in a first top 10 protected um, also. I threw in a future first top 10 protected. The Wizards keep their pick this year. Uh, they get Jeremy Grant. We all know what Jeremy, Jeremy Grant's been doing this year. He's been balling. It gives them uh, uh, another score. Uh, they, they also they still have uh, Rui Hachimura. I had him in there before, but I took him out uh, to throw in Denny Advia, you know, just because. And maybe, maybe, give or take, you probably have to throw in uh, um, Rui Hachimura instead, and you could probably keep Denny. But just for the sake of the uh, trade, I feel like Denny probably has more upside than Rui Hachimura. He just hasn't been given the opportunity to play a lot. So this gives him opportunity to get more minutes. But the Wizards, they get Jeremy Grant, like I said, and they get Wayne Ellington, a three-point shooter. You can shoot the rock, you can defend a little bit, um, and it gives them, I feel like this probably puts them in a better position to make the playoffs, or at least make the play-in games, like I said. But yeah, this is this is the first trade that um, the Wizards, I feel like, should make. Uh, let's get into the next one. Okay, uh, we're going to be doing a trade with the Orlando Magic. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know who's going to be involved in this trade, um, but we're going to send over... Davis Bertans, once again, we're going to send over, we're going to send over, uh, we're also going to send over, uh, do we send Rui or do we send Denny? Yeah, uh, we're going to send Davis Bertans, Rui Hachimura, and Nikola Vucevic over, I mean, Davis Bertans, Rui Hachimura over to the Magic in exchange for Nikola Vucevic, but we're also going to throw in, I don't know, somebody like... Alex Len, uh, yeah, throw in, throw in somebody like Alex Len, or you could throw in a Mo Wagner. Mo Wagner would probably be the more interesting piece. So throw in Mo Wagner. Uh, also, you probably have to throw in, throw in this future second top ten protected success. Um, the Magic received Davis Bertans, uh, Moritz Wagner, Rui Hachimura. And a future first. I tried to. I thought I threw in another first round pick, but I guess I forgot to throw it in. But there's another first round pick. I think it's 2024 or something like that. Um, 
in return, the magic, I mean, the wizards receive wizards magic. Get it? Wizards magic. Expelliarmus. Uh, but uh, the wizards receive uh, Nikola Vucevic. Um, and they get to keep the, their first round pick this year. For So, like, for the same reason I said in the Jeremy Grant trade, they keep their first round pick. So, if they don't make the playoffs, they're still able to do something with that pick if they want to either draft it or use it to try and get another piece, depending on how valuable it is. You're able to keep that pick and have some flexibility when it comes to trade assets in the future. Um, the Magic, they get a shooter. They get Moritz Wagner, a big a kind of a Nikola Vucevic uh, replacement. Um, he's on the last year of his deal, but if you want him, um, you can obviously just resign him to a deal that you seem uh, that you're that you're comfortable with. And you get Rui Hachimura, a scoring option that uh, the Magic will need, especially if they're trading Aaron Gordon um, and Evan Fournier leaves this summer. Um, this gives them the opportunity uh, to have a, not to be in such a bad situation if. They, they no longer have Aaron Gordon or Evan Fournier on the roster come this time next year. Um, so, yeah, he's a scoring threat. He can shoot. He can he can shoot. He can shoot the three. He can he can shoot the mid range shot. He can get to the rim a little bit. Um, yeah, I feel like this is another trade the uh, the Wizards should make with the Magic. Uh, the last team we're going to be doing a trade with is the Indiana Pacers. Um, the Pacers are going to send over Miles Turner. And the Wizards are going to send over Davis Bertans, but we're also going to throw in a few more picks. We're going to send in. We're also going to send. We're also going to send. Ugh, do we have to send? I don't think we would have to send Rui or any of those guys right away. But to make the deal a little bit more interesting, um, let's throw in. Uh, Justin Holiday in the mix. Throw him in there, and then we can throw in. Let's throw throw in Denny Advia. Throw in that top ten protected pick in a second, maybe two seconds. 2023, 2024 second. We have two of those. Send that over. Let's try this trade. This this would be this will be my final trade. Once again, Davis Bertans and De De Denny Advia. Two second round picks and a future first. You can say that's a lot. It really, I just threw in the picks just so it can, you know, make sense when it comes to just return. You could probably just throw in one second and the first rounder, top 10. Um, but in return, the Wizards receive Miles Turner, um, a watered down version of Nikola Vucevic, but a better defender than uh, Nikola for sure, uh, interior defender. Um, and you get a you get a, a, a three point shooter, a guy that you can just throw it to him and tell him to shoot, and he's pretty reliable. But for the Pacers, you get Davis Bertans, you get a shooter off the bench behind uh, Demontis Sabonis, or you can even try moving Sabonis to the five and try him at the four. I personally just keep him at the four, and honestly, you could throw in another player. You could probably throw in uh, you could probably throw in Mo Wagner. Throw, you could probably just throw in Mo Wagner and, and you know, then you could probably just take away one of the second round picks because then that'd probably be a little bit excessive. Um, throw in uh, Maurice Wagner and Justin Holiday. I mean, I mean, yeah, you throw in Maurice Wagner so that way you could just move him to the five in replacement of Miles Turner and you could still have Sabonis play the four and then have Bertans off the bench. Um, Karis Levert. He's going to be on the roster. Um, and then Denny Advia. You could play him at the three, um, depending on when TJ Warren decides to come back. Uh, yeah, uh, Justin, Justin Holiday, Miles Turner. I um, already said what they bring to the Wizards. But yeah, uh, th these are the trades that I feel like the Wizards need to make um, if they want to be in the play, the play in tournament to eventually be able to play in the playoffs. But yeah, man, I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Turn on your post notifications. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I'm going to see you guys next time, man. Peace.